All right. Um, so what I have is the sum of two cubes. I have a cubed plus 1 over 27. Now, there's two things I want you guys to remember. When you have two different terms, there's only three factoring techniques so far that we've talked about. The difference of cubes, the difference of squares, and the, diff and the sum of cubes. All right? Well, we look at here and we have a sum. And that's pretty basic. That No, we're now we're going to be only looking for the sum of cubes. That's the only thing we've talked about, how to factor um, when we have two terms, except uh, factoring out the GCL. So if we're going to look at the sum of two cubes, that, no, that means we're going to have a cubed plus b cubed. And that can be written as a plus b times a squared minus a times b plus b squared. So rather than doing the factoring and all that kind of stuff, if we can figure out what a and b are, we can simply just plug it into this formula. And that's the factored form. That's what the factored form looks like. Um, so what we need to do then, ladies and gentlemen, is we need to determine what a and b are. So what we say is, can we write this term and this term as um, factored terms? So you could say a cubed. So a cubed, doesn't matter what the variable is, is going to equal this one, which is a cubed. Then our b cubed is our second term, which is equal to 1 over 27. All right. So if a cubed, right, we don't need to just figure out what a cubed is. We need to figure out what a is. So if I have a cubed, then what's a? Well, to do that, you take the square root, or the, sorry, the cube root of both sides, and the cube root of a cubed is just a. Then what I need to do over here is take the cube root of b, because I need to figure out what b is as well. So the cube root of b is going to provide me with b, and then the cube root of, 100, or of 1 over 27. Crap. How do we do that? All right. Well, remember, ladies and gentlemen, with square roots, that the square root of a over b is equal to the square root of a over the square root of b. Guess what? That's the same thing with cube roots. The same property is going to apply. So therefore, this is equal to the cube root of 1 over the cube root of 27. Well, the cube root of 1, 1 times 1 times 1, means we have 1. And then what number multiplies by itself 3 times to give us 27? 3. So therefore, our answer is our lovely fraction, which is 1 third. Now, I told you what a equals, and I told you what b equals. Since we have been provided the formula, all we're going to do is plug in what a equals, and then plug in what b equals. So my, form, so my answer is going to be a plus 1 third times a squared minus a times 1 third, sorry, yep, times a times 1 third plus 1 third squared. Now, it's very important that you guys put them in parentheses when you plug them in there, because a lot of times you have to make sure you square each term. My final answer is going to be a plus 1 third times a squared minus 1 third a, as I just like to write the number in front. And then 1 third squared is going to be plus 1 ninth. Okay, And that is my final answer. There we go. So when you guys are doing the sum and difference